What's up everybody, it's your boy Hobo here. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Today I'm here to give you another interview for the World Pokemon Federation Season 4. Today we're going to be interviewing the London Lucarios, coached by Tony. What's up guys, Tony here. And I'm your coach of the London Lucarios. Alright, so hey, how you doing today, uh, Tony? Let's just break the ice real quick. Yeah, let's see how you doing. I'm good, how are yourself? Yeah, I'm doing fine, quite tired. Uh, home Alone, ooh, and, uh, you know, well, that's about my personal life, but, you know, I'm Home Alone and interviewing people. Man, so good. Alright, so, <laughs> Tony, tell me, man, why do you like playing this game that we call Mons, Pokemon? Um, I've been playing it since the original, um, Red and Blue. It's been one of my favorite games ever since it came out. Um, I just like how it's been um, getting the newer graphics every generation. And that's about it. That's about it? Alright, hey. You're simple and clean, man. I understand. You know, you get straight to the point. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. So, tell me, man. Uh, what is your favorite Pokemon now? This could be, um, you know, professional-wise, like competitive-wise, or it could be just like lenient. See, like, yeah, I like this because of this. Um, one of my favorite mods is Cresselia's. Um, because it's like a really bulky mod, and sometimes it's really hard to um, get rid of it. If you were, um, really, and it's one of most of the bulkiest mods in competitive Pokemon. And yeah, 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 Cresselia is thick. I'll, I'll give you that. She's one thick lady. That Cresselia. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So is that your um? So that does that mean you like fourth gen? Because I mean I see you like Lucario, um, for your team name. Yes. So you fourth like fourth gen is. Yes, it's one of my favorite games ever. Favorite game ever. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad. Uh, what what's your favorite gym in fourth gen? Gym? Yeah, gym. Um, it has to be the fighting gym, since they use a Lucario. And when I was younger, it was so tough for me to get rid of it, since I didn't have any um, mods that were super effective against it. And I was just getting bodied with it. So, so what? You, you didn't have, uh, what was your starter? My starter was, um, an Empoleon. Oh, okay, okay, so, so you went with Pimpla. I mean, you yeah. hit Peck, if you kept Peck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you get Peck, you get Water Pulse at an early level, I think. Yes, I think. I mean, I guess that's that's way to get rid of it. I don't know, Cario. Cario's a threat. Yes, you know, it is. You know, talking about threats, man. Um... Hello, dog? Oh, sorry. My dog just jumped onto my lap, guys. We're really unprofessional here, but... Aren't you little cute coat? Yeah, I love you, too. <laughs> okay, so talking about threats, why don't we just hop right into your team real quick, alright? So your team is full of threats. Yes. And, um... I'm on. Let's be honest, Lucario is a threat, and, um, it has it in there. <laughs> Um, you know, why don't you give us an idea of why you drafted these mods and why? Well, um, since I was way busy with school, since I have my finals coming up, I just told, um, told the, um, them to say if I could um, draft one of the final mods that were left. So I would just, I just went with the uh, mods that were just there, and a friend um, helped me with them. And Lucario was there, so I drafted it. Yeah. So, so basically, all your mods are leftover mods. And people um, did not want to roll and watch and make Altaria. Like, hello. Yes, what? some of them. Some of them are. Okay. Yes. Um. What round did you not? And to, um, like in the middle of the draft, I just told a friend that they could help me pick them. Oh, okay. So that's good. And in fact, I couldn't see the um dog, so I just told him 
hey, can you cho choose this mon if it hasn't been picked or just choose a random mon? So that's how I got some of my mons. Yes, yes. That's how we get most of our mons nowadays. Alright, so I'm going to point out Septile. Now, Septile is such a versatile mon, and I'm wondering, do you plan on bringing unurban Septile? Um, not always, because unless I, um, I have like a berry on it, or a focus ash, I don't think I'll be using unburdened that much. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright, hey, not bad. So, um, looking at your team, you only have one Pokemon that can either stack hazards, yeah, basically place hazards, that's Needle King. Um, yeah. That's that's a um, weird role for Nido King to have, and you know, are you more thinking about modifying your draft towards the free agency wise to get some things that can get rid of the hazards and stack hazards? Also, like um, like your only hazard removal role is Tokitik, so yeah, um, maybe um. If I see that hazards become like a more problem with for me, I may be considering um, doing like a free agent for mom that can get rid of them. And I'm not the kind of guy that likes to have them set. Okay. So, okay. So most of the time, if I see that, um, if I see a person that I'm going against can't um, get rid of hazards, maybe sometimes I will put hazards down or. I may just not um, put hazards at all. All right, yeah, that's not bad. So you know, this one's quite quick, but um, tell me, Tony, this is the part where you can be as narcissistic as possible because I'm about to ask you the ultimate question here, Tony. Okay. Why are you the World Pokemon Federation Season Four champion? Um, because I feel like I'm a better than everyone at um, Pokemon, <laughs> and I would I just um like to win, not lose. Well, you guys hear it now. This guy likes to win and not lose. That's the only reason why he is the uh, the, the champion. You know, he's not calling out people, but he is he's pretty pretty ballsy. Yes, short, clean, <laughs> simple, and clean. That's how. Is very nice to be. So, I do want to point out that you have a total of four clerics, which is crazy. You have more clerics than anyone else that I've interviewed so far. So, like, yeah. I guess I guess status is not a problem for you, huh? Like, yes. bring, please bring T Wave. I'll get rid of that like that. Yeah, <laughs> I have um one of the mower of both ones which is Vaporeon which is another mom that you can sometimes barely put dent in it and I can just stall people with toxic or any other cysts I can find that's great that's great um, well I think that's gonna conclude our interview for today so guys make sure to leave like for every heal bell that might be used by this guy um, which I mean is limited to eight eight times four, which is twenty-four, so wait, did I do math right? Eight times four. That's eight thirty-two. Times four is 32. thirty-two. Yeah, so let's get thirty-two likes if uh, if possible. If not, uh, let's just shoot for four. <laughs> but until next time guys, this is your boy Carney Hobo. And I'm Tony. And we'll be seeing you guys next time. Um yeah. So, bye. Bye.